Hiya, I hope you're keeping well. Um, I thought I'd show you a really chocolatey, smoky eye today. In case you're thinking of something where you want to feel that extra bit glam, this might be a nice one, so I hope you enjoy. As always, everything I've used is listed in the description of the video, so if you click to make it full screen, the title will come up along the top, click the arrow next to it and a full list of everything will drop down. But by all means, just substitute these colours and placement areas with whatever you've already got in your makeup bag. I'm already starting with my makeup. I'm going to be completely honest with you. If you're doing your makeup at home or if I was doing a makeup that I wasn't filming, I'd always tend to do the eyes first. That way, if you make any mess, you can just wipe it away and carry on. However, for the purpose of these videos and because I've got a bit of a problem skin, it's quite distracting and sometimes an eye look can look really heavy and intimidating but then when you get it in the context of the full makeup it feels wearable again so that's why I choose to kind of do it in this way. Okay I'm throwing it back with some Benefit Hoola today they very kindly sent me some Christmas things including this jumper um, but I'm so excited to use Hoola because this was one of the things that I always used to buy like even as a student I'd spend my wages on this I always loved benefit that was my first kind of um luxury brand that I used to use they used to have something I don't know if they still do it called lemonade that was really good for redness so that was one of the reasons I found them anyway nice large fluffy brush from Pixie see I've got loads of hula now on that brush so I'm just going really gently and I'm going to start by taking a wash of bronze do you know what like pretty much all over but making sure I've got a really soft socket and I'm not going to be afraid to go quite large with this colour because I really want the eyes to be the thing that pops in this makeup. Right before I get too far in I'm going to line my eyes. The easiest way to do that is to press the liner on the waterline, close your eyes and rub it back and forth but I'm a contact lens wearer so I can't do that because I'd get makeup all over my lenses. Okay now I'm going to take a little bit of Swiss chocolate from MAC and start taking this kind of on the outer edge of my natural crease of my eye. I'm just leaving it like that for now. It's not perfect but we're going to use the other brush to go in and intervene in a moment. Okay stay with me. This looks quite bold I hear you. I'm going to take the hula again and the same original brush and use a softer brown on the outskirts of that. <laughs> this is gonna get so confusing. I'm using a softer brown on the outskirts of the Swiss brown. Oh no, it's Swiss chocolate, it's not that confusing. Right, we're using our soft brown along here. See how that is just a bit softer already? And we want to merge the, the original brown, have the middle brown, going back into the original brown and we kind of want this you know soft diffused we don't know how it's happened but it has happened situation in front of us now for these really harsh lines we're going to do two things oh clean blending brush to blur these edges Listen, I'll be honest with you, I'm as nervous about this as you are, but this is the kind of thing you need to keep in the video. When you are terrified, get some highlighter on your brow bone. It just helps to calm everything down. I'm actually okay with this side. So I'm just going to bounce the light a bit. That's feeling okay. I think a little touch of that over here. Let's just do these inner corners while we're here is going to help to soften everything a little bit. If we go back in with the Swiss chocolate and retrace where it's going to be the strongest, that will in turn give the illusion of those blended areas looking ever so slightly softer. Already, do you see what I mean? That we've got more definition between what's meant to be dark and what's meant to be soft. Okay, we got there, we're in a good place. I'm now gonna take that Swiss chocolate underneath the lash line. Mm. 
Now, what I'm doing is angling this up in a way that it's going to rejoin um, the darker colour. And then let's make sure we've got a little bit of the Swiss chocolate joining the two. And then again, we'll blend all of that out with the hula to make everything melt in together. Okay, just a quick one I want to bring your attention to. If I close my eyes, you can see there that that's entirely down to the way I've done it. It's not quite sat into those little laughter lines. However, the kind of look I'm going for today, I'm going to put glitter over that so it's not going to matter too much. If you did want to not put glitter on this or not have that kind of where has it gone finish, I would just suggest that you uh, look down into your mirror when you do your shadows so that your lid is pulled really tight. Now, if you notice, that hula obviously is lighter than the Swiss chocolate, where I've put my brush. So every time I blend it out, it softens it. And I'm in this real cat and mouse of blending, softening, packing back in the Swiss chocolate. Admittedly, <laughs> This is defo a makeup for when you do have the time to do something like this. All jokes aside, if I'm doing something like this that's going to take a bit of time, get a bit of Amazon Prime on the go, Netflix, Now TV, whatever you subscribe to, or like the TV is behind me, so often I'll have the TV on and I can see it in the mirror. By the time you're watching something and you've kind of spaced out, you won't even notice the time going and having that extra bit of patience and layering those brushes and blending, you know, those little bits here and there makes a huge difference to the finished look. Okay, now we've got the real decision to make. Are we going for posh or are we going for dynamite? Both peaches pigments. Let me show you the two. This is posh. I think we're going for posh, you know. I love dynamite. But like, what do I always do in these videos? Soft, pound coin. Oh, that is amazing though, isn't it? I'm going to go with my gut instinct here. I'm going to do both. That's what I'll do. So that was a good way to resolve it, wasn't it? Okay, I've got my loose pigment, a flat brush. I'm kind of picking some pigment up, putting it in the lid and pressing it onto this brush. This is a prime example of why I've completely stitched myself up here by having my makeup on first, but it's for the purpose of <laughs> looking nice and put together when I put this on TikTok, let's be honest. How lovely is that? Same again over here. Okay, now clean dry brush. We're brushing away any spills. And as much as I would love to keep it like this, we're gonna have to get a bit of dynamite in here. Sorry, it's not dynamite, it's chain mail. See how that just gives a little bit of extra sparkle right by the eye and makes it all look a bit more kind of multidimensional. It's almost like a wet look, isn't it? But it's just achieved with two different glitters. I've just taken a little what's left on the brush in those inner corners too. Okay, I think liner will really set this off. So I'm gonna use the REM Beauty Liquid Liner. And then before I do my mascara, I just want to tidy up a tiny bit using some concealer. So I've got some on the back of my hand here. I'm just gonna give a bit more coverage Just help to blur over any little spills. I don't know if you can hear that, but my cat is snoring. So if you're wondering what's going on, that's what's happening here. Then I'm just gonna set anywhere that I've put concealer on with a little touch of powder. This is really important in particular around the eye area, because if I didn't set this and it's so creamy, you run the risk of your mascara printing onto it. 
Um, and while I'm powdering, I'm just going to make sure go around this nose area. Okay, I'm using a little Lancome mascara now to finish the look. And then because I've powdered everything, I don't want to completely lose the luminosity. I'm not going to lie to you. Those lights are so bright that you don't get a very accurate picture of my skin. But even looking at it in the mirror, I want it to be a bit brighter. So I'm going to use a little bit of shade 3 in uh, Charlotte Tilbury's Flawless Filter. And literally just press this onto uh, kind of the high points of the cheeks. And there we go, all done. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, please feel free to leave any suggestions of videos that you'd like to see. Um, I know it's not the easiest time at the moment. I mean, Christmas isn't the easiest time anyway for lots of people. Never mind when we see different things every time we watch the news at the moment. So if there's anything in particular that would um, feel good, like I was thinking, especially in January, I feel like virus or not, January is a time when you see stay in a bit more you kind of you know on a bit more of a budget you're just chilling out after December I was thinking of getting back to the real technique focused videos so let me know if you've got any suggestions of things you'd like to see in particular and I'll be talking to you very soon take care